Hello everyone, today we're making the Jungle Bird three ways. We're gonna start with the lazy version, aka as simple as possible without compromising on the quality. Then we're gonna make a pro version, this bad boy right here, which is awesome if you ask me. And then we're gonna clarify it with milk just to see how it turns out. So if you guys are ready, let's make together some Jungle Bird. All right guys, so for the ingredients in the Jungle Bird, we're gonna need dark rum. I'm using Plantation Original Dark here because that's my favorite, but you can use the one of your choice. But for the Campari, this is not negotiable. It needs to be Campari. We're also gonna need pineapple juice, lime juice, and rocking sugar syrup. For the pineapple juice, I like to use the whole fruit. I'm gonna cut it into small pieces, and then I'm gonna blend it into a juicy puree. Then I'm gonna filter that through a nut milk bag to extract all the delicious juice. And I know it is supposed to be a lazy cocktail, so store-bought juice is fine, but we're gonna need the fresh stuff for the other versions, so why not using the fresh one right away? So now for the build, it is very simple. We're gonna start by pouring two ounces of dark rum into a tall glass. You can use a Hurricane or a Tiki mug, totally fine. And we're gonna add to this three quarters of an ounce of Campari, followed by two ounces of pineapple juice, half an ounce of raw cane sugar syrup, and we're gonna end this up with half an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. Now it's time to add some crushed ice, and I love to make my own because I believe it is the best way to relieve some stress, but once again, store-bought crushed ice here is totally fine. Now, in your glass, you're gonna add a swizzle stick or a bar spoon, and you're gonna fill it up with crushed ice. Now you wanna churn, swizzle, stir, call it the way you want. What you wanna do is to incorporate all the ingredients together, chill your cocktail down, and add a little bit of dilution. Once you're done, we're gonna garnish it with pineapple fronts. I like to cut mine on the opposite side, so we're gonna have a beautiful color gradient. We're gonna place that into our glass with a bamboo straw for the environment, and we're gonna top it up with crushed ice. And this is it, guys. This is how we make a classic, delicious, and refreshing jungle bird. Cheers. All right, now, so for the pro jungle bird, we're gonna make a clarified pineapple cordial. To do that, we're gonna weigh 400 grams of pineapple puree, in which we're gonna add one gram of pectinex. Then we're gonna blend the puree with the pectinex for about one minute, and after, we're gonna let the mixture rest for an additional 45 minutes. After, we're gonna filter it through a coffee filter, and we're gonna end up with a beautiful clarified pineapple juice. To make the cordial, we're gonna measure 105 ml of the juice, in which we're gonna add 2.5 grams of citric acid, 45 grams of granulated sugar, and the zest of one lime. After, all you have to do is to stir until everything is dissolved and filter it through a coffee filter, and this is how we make the cordial. Maybe you noticed the change of clothes, guys. That's because I made the cordial yesterday for the purpose of the video. But back to today, we're gonna build the pro version in a mixing glass. We're gonna start by pouring two ounces of dark rum, followed by three quarters of an ounce of Campari, and two ounces of our cordial. After, we're gonna fill the mixing glass with ice and give it a good stir for about 60 revolutions. Now, all we have to do is to strain it into the glass of your choice. I picked a beautiful bird-shaped glass because initially this cocktail was served in a tiki mug in the shape of a tropical bird, hence the name. And this is it, guys. This is how I make my pro version of the Jungle Bird. Cheers. And now for the clarified jungle bird. It's the same recipe as in the lazy one. We're simply gonna clarify it with milk. So we're gonna start by pouring two ounces of dark rum into a mixing glass, followed by three quarters of an ounce of Campari. Once again, two ounces of pineapple juice, but here freshly pressed is very important. To that, we're gonna add half an ounce of raw cane sugar syrup and half an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. And now for the clarification, in another container, we're gonna pour one ounce of whole milk and we're gonna pour the cocktail over it. I always say that when I make clarified cocktails on the channel, it is very important to pour the cocktail over the milk and not the other way around to get the best result. Now, right away, you can pour the mixture over a coffee filter and let it drip for about one minute. 
The kernels will settle at the bottom of the filter and this is how we get the best clarification. The first drops will be cloudy though, so after about a minute, you're gonna re-pour them over the unfiltered cocktail. At this point, all we have to do is to wait until the whole cocktail is filtered, and this is it, as simple as that. This is how we clarify a cocktail with milk. All right, so now it is completely filtered, totally different in taste and look. We're gonna store it into the fridge to cool down until we're ready to drink it. And while we do wait, we're gonna prep our eyes because you know how I roll, clarified cocktails need clear eyes. So I'm gonna use my ice press to make a perfectly shaped ice sphere made out of my homemade clear ice. If you guys wanna know how I make clear ice at home, I'm gonna link it up here. So now all we have to do is to pour the cocktail over the ice, no stir required, it is already cooled down, and we're gonna garnish it with pineapple fronds. If you want, this is up to you at this point, and this is it guys, this is how we make a clarified jungle bird. Cheers. All right, guys, so this is it, the Jungle Bird three ways. I hope you will enjoy this. I really had a blast making those and testing them. Uh, now, what can I say about the taste and the comparison between each other? I would say that the classic Jungle Bird is a must. It's an amazing summer cocktail, refreshing, tropical, bitter, a good dose of rum, everything that I love for a summer drink. Now for the pro version, I have to say this one is my favorite. It is very similar in taste, but it is very silky in mouthfeel because of the clarification of the pineapple in the Coreal. It has a beautiful look, almost looks like it's a stirred down drink. I really, really love this one. Now for the milk washed uh, Jungle Bird. I say it is a very cool experiment. I really enjoy this one. I think that for people that are afraid of the bitterness of the Campari, it is a great way to get used to it because the milk washing will really smooth the bitterness from the Campari. Uh, it will actually elevate the uh, tropical flavor from the pineapple. Only downside, you lose a little bit of the rum, but to get used to Campari, if it's something that you are afraid of or not used to. I think it's really worth it because the cocktail itself is delicious. It is very refreshing, still very tropical and summer style. So I love it. I hope you're gonna love it too. That's it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you wanna be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers. Mm, that's good. Mm. Mm, but that's better. <clears throat> Quick disclaimer, guys, for the lazy pro clear videos. You know when I say lazy, I don't mean poorly made. All I want to say is we're going to try to make it as good as possible, the simplest way possible. So we're not going to use any shortcuts. If we need freshly squeezed juice to make it good, that's what we're going to use. That's it.